Free News at 6. Welcome back tonight. Interstate 55 is still partially shut down after a massive pileup on Monday morning left eight people dead and nearly 170 cars wrecked or burned. NBC Local 33 Sudan Britain has details. If you're traveling between Baton Rouge and New Orleans, meteorologist Brandon Lashbrook says super fog will not be an issue, but if you usually take Interstate 55, parts of it are still closed. If you're heading down to I-10, that may be affected uh, you on traffic wise because they are detouring um, areas around that stretch of roadway. Lashbrook says super fog is caused by wildfire, smoke, and cool saturated air. He says it takes two to four hours for the fog to leave after sunrise. With those areas of that dense fog, that creates the visibilities possibly down to 10 feet or less in some areas. And so that really dense fog combined with the smoke is what we tagged super fog. Lashbrook says Monday morning super fog was a leading factor to a polyp that killed eight people and impacted more than 100 cars. He says it's important to keep these tips in mind before heading on the road. The best thing you can do is slow down. You don't want to be speeding or going at high speed. So the best thing to do is slow down. Make sure you use your low beam lights. You don't want your high beams because that will reflect the fog and make visibility even worse. On Wednesday, DOTD released a statement about the conditions of I-55, saying in quotes, there's no timeline for completion of the inspections or the reopening of I-55. There are some areas remaining that must be cleaned before inspection. Ashbrook says we should be basically fog free for the rest of the week. While we can't rule out some areas of some patchy fog, we're not expecting any real widespread dense fog um, as we saw previous days or so as you go forward through the rest of this week. Sudan Britain, NBC Local 33 News.